hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to export the json object or json string to a pdf document and render this inside the table so we will be using the pdf make js library and html to canvas library so there is a, you can see there is export button out there as i click this button here you can see a pdf file will be downloaded as an attachment if i open this file here you will see that the data will be rendered inside a table like structure you will see that so you can see we have uh, three columns out there customer id name country and we have four rows out there this is name and country you can see that so we will try to export this to a pdf document guys the json data so this records are all coming from json objects so so in order to construct the pdf document we are using this library which is pdf make.js so it's a vanilla javascript library it's uh, written in pure javascript it is uh, used to generate pdf documents and one of the dependencies we are using here guys which is html to canvas so basically it is used to take screenshots of the elements which are present inside the browser so whenever you click this button guys as i click this button this table was generated and it has taken the screenshot of this table and it has exported that screenshot that image basically it's an Im image of the table it's not the actual table which is drawn in the pdf document so we have simply taken this image which is uh, taken by html to canvas and then we have rendered this image in the pdf document using pdf make.js so for this tutorial topic guys i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website web ninja developer.com so if you want to get all the source code and also uh, follow the step-by-step -step instruction you can go to my blog post the link of this blog post is given in the description of this video so now let's get started guys by building this application so first of all what we need to do guys basically you need to import all the cdns for this library so this is a cdn that i have exported you will see that this is for pdf make and secondly we for html to canvas so simply you need to do this it's very important and after this guys we will be adding our input element here and this will be of type button so the value will be here will be simply export so whenever you click this button the it will execute a function here which on click you can simply put this function export so whenever you click this button this export function will execute and another we will have a simple div id so here we will be attaching this unique id to it of dv table so we will be targeting inside javascript so right here just include your custom javascript file guys script.js so right here inside our we will write this function which was export so inside this export function guys whenever we click this button we need to first of all construct the json string so this json string guys basically it will have the series of records out there so this this will be a basically we can simply have a array of objects here so basically this will be valid json so first call first column will be for customer id and then we will have the name column and then we will have the country column so there are three columns out there inside the table and now basically we will insert one by one so this will be uh, customer id will be number and the name will be let's suppose uh, john country let's suppose i say new zealand and again you need to put a comma put a second entry out there so now you can see there are two records out there it's a json string here array of records out there so you can see that it's a json string so now we simply need to convert this to a json object so for this we will simply make a customers variable and here this have this evaluate function guys so it's a built-in javascript method and it contains it basically evaluates the javascript code and executes it and here guys we will simply pass this json string and it will convert our json string to json object that's all after this guys we will create the dynamic table 
inside our DOM. So we will use document.create element. This is a method create element. And where we will create this table element, guys. So inside table element, we will give it the table a border of one. And also we will be giving a dynamic ID to the table of uh, table customers like this. So after this guys we will first of all get the number of columns which are present so we will simply say here column column count so we can get the number of columns here by customers zero dot length so you can see that we have uh, three rows out there we are accessing this first row here and we are calculating the number of columns so one two three so this will get the three will be stored inside column count so here we will simply run a simple for loop here guys so i will start from zero and i will run until column count and i plus plus and basically guys here what we need to do is that we need to simply first of all target the header cell and here we will create this element of uh, table table th th i think stands for table heading so here we will simply manipulate the inner html property and here we will simply customers zero and i like this and we will append this row guys basically I think we haven't declared this row variable or uh, let me see okay okay sorry we also need to add this beforehand so we need to add this row guys so row so this will be table dot insert row so there is a method which where we can insert the row using this method so this will insert this row at the specified position so here we will minus one we will provide this will add the header row so we will simply say row dot append child so we will append this child guys which is header cell like this so now we our table will contains these three columns customer id name and country so after this we need to now add the actual data data rows so for this we will simply run this loop from again i1 and it will run until the customers dot length i plus plus and uh, you can see we have initialized this json object and it will calculate its lengths by using customer dot length and again inside this we will simply say row is equal to table dot insert row again minus one so now we will run another uh, loop guys for loop this is the inner loop second loop here which is running so this is helpful for inserting the columns so j plus plus so we will insert the cell using insert cell method and basically here we will pass minus one and we will manipulate the inner html to customers i j like this so this will actually insert the data which is contained inside the table which is one john new zealand and two steve australia so now we have got the table here guys which is ready now so now we simply need to append this table inside the dom element so we will simply say here we will get the id here which we have given db table so now we simply need to add this in the inner html let me first of all make it as nothing and then we will add this append child and pass this table like this that's all guys what we need to do and now if, now we need to take the screenshot of this uh, table using html to canvas so right here we have man, uh, appended this table here if you now open this with if you click this button you will now see this table is ready now so now we simply need to take the screenshot by using html to canvas here so you can even add some more records here it totally depends upon you how many records you want to add here you can also add one more record here let's suppose three and uh, we will simply say here henry and uh, canada
one more record we can add here so you can see now we have four records out there if you again refresh it now basically so now you can see we have four records out there john steve henry santana you can see so basically now we need to simply take the screenshot so now for taking the screenshot guys it's very easy we have this library which is called as html to canvas and here it takes the id of the element of which we need to take the screenshot so we will provide the id of the table and in the second argument it takes the callback function which is on rendered so on rendered simply calls after you have taken the screenshot it will now have this canvas image which is there inside base64 code so first of all we need to convert this base64 code we will call this method data url so basically this will return the actual mem type of the png or jpg image the screenshot and after this we will now use the pdf make library in order to insert this inside the pdf document so right here inside this object we have the content here and inside this content we will provide the image actual image that our canvas has taken so we will simply provide the data here which is the base 64 code here of the image so in this way you can add this image in the pdf document and also we will provide the width of this image so you can change the width accordingly i have put here 500 so after this all this guys it is completed here and right here we will simply call pdf make and we will create the pdf document by using create pdf this is a method and here based upon the document de definition that we have provided and this also contains this download method guys which will act automatically download your output pdf file so just give this file name output.pdf and uh, simply if you now refresh your application let's suppose click export you will now see automatically the pdf file will be downloaded if i open this file you will see these four records will be present inside that pdf document you will see that customer id name country four records are there so in this easy way guys you can export any sort of json object or string to a pdf document and basically you can take the screenshot using html to canvas library and insert that inside the pdf document you can obviously see the quality doesn't look pretty high but you can see it does the work for you just the quality is not looking great but still it uh, does the work for you so thank you very much and if you want the full source code you can go to the description of this live stream and please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video